What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the UTG AK Quad Rail. I have this on my one AK74 and uh, I've used it for a few years now. Uh, I do like it for its quality, although I do not like it for its functionality. Many different reasons uh, and we'll get into those uh, coming up here. First off, this is made in the United States of America. Is a quad rail is made of metal, not some uh, cheesy plastic like other ones you might see, i.e. the Tapco Intrafuse, which I've used before, and is absolute crap. This is actually made of metal. It holds a zero. It is sturdy. It is built like a tank. It is less expensive than some other ones you might see out there, like the Midwest Industries or the U.S. Palm, um, that is made, uh, I believe, by Midwest Industries. Um, it is sturdy as I said, made of metal, nothing's going to change on this. You drop this, you do not have to worry about this breaking. Um, I've run this through, you go into Arizona and such, and I've never had a problem uh, with it. Um, the only thing I really like to run on my gun is an optic, a light, which I don't have on here right now because I'm in the process of changing the rail, and uh, on this one I have a sling. Uh, the sling around there actually doubles as a, uh, a ledge for my uh, finger when I'm uh, using the weapon. Um, so getting more into uh, the specifics of this, uh, this is a you know, four pick, pick and tenny rails, as you can see. Um, you can use anything on there that is um, that works with that. The one thing I don't like about this and other rails is you have to be really picky with your rail if you want co-witness and you want to have great sight um, functionality. Um, if you want to co-witness, you do not want this rail up above this uh, rivet right here, or this uh, this uh, pin right here. Um, an example is my uh, Waffen Works that has a Altimac on it. And as you can see on there, the uh, the rivet and the uh, sight. Oh, here we go. As you can see on there, the uh, sight is below the rivet. It's right on the bottom there, the the top of the sight. Um, and that allows you to co-witness. So say your red dot doesn't work, you can use the exact same um, sight picture and the exact same cheek weld, i.e. same thing, and co-witness and use your optic if your red dot's out. On this one, you can't use the same cheek weld um, to get the exact same um, sight picture. On like the Altimac, you can look right through your, uh, your sight here without any change in your in your cheek weld. With this one, you actually gotta bring your cheek up off of the stock a little bit to be able to even see this uh, micro uh, red dot. And I don't even know if you'll be able to, uh, to see that because you have to look so far in on it to see it, which you're not gonna see it. Here. You have to look so far in to uh, see it. There we go. Um, so as you can see, I'm not even all the way down looking straight on the uh, the sight and I'm not even able to see the uh, red the uh, the sight because of it's block it's being blocked by um, how high up this uh, sight is. Um, so that's one thing you want to look for in your sight. If you're going to spend $64 on this, I say spend another 30 get an Altimac if you're if you want to co-witness and have the best functionality you can have. Uh, with the Altimac, um, you can do different things um, that you can't do with this because you can see here um, this is really far up off the whole thing it's not in line with your sight you can see how far up this is um, from your sight so you're gonna have to have a really interesting uh, cheek weld um, to uh, to be you know, optimal in your use of this uh, weapon platform with this uh, quad rail and that's why I'm moving away from that to a scout rail with a regular bottom. I only like to, red, like to run a red dot in light. Um, but if you want to use this, you've got plenty of options. You can put an AFG on the bottom, um, some sort of other vertical grip. Um, you can put light mounts anywhere. It holds everything very tightly. Um, I've never had a problem with that. The heat dissipation off of this um, when running tons of rounds through it is good. Uh, I never had my hands get burnt because of this, you know, being metal, uh, whatever, whatever. It does dissipate the, tea, the uh, heat off the top very well. Um, and uh, you can see there's tons of ventilation uh, throughout this entire system. Um, and you can see it doesn't really um, have a problem there. 
Um, as far as durability, this is made of metal. I forget if it's aluminum or, uh, or uh, steel. It's not stainless though. Um, but it is going to give you longevity. It is a little heavy uh, because it is metal. Um, so this is a little bit front heavy. Um, so just know that when you're going into that purchase that it's going to be a little heavy on the front end. Um, so it has a little um, uh, shim back here. You can with shims to uh, different variations and configurations on the AK to uh, close that off. Um, it has these four Allen bolts on the top that uh, is what holds it in there and um, holds in very good, very tight, never had it come loose, never had a, a zero loss because of uh, the screws coming loose or anything like that. It's made very well. Um, like again, I'll say it, USA made, UTG, AK quad rail, good stuff if that's what you're looking for. Uh, unfortunately, I'm getting an Ultimac for this AK like I have on my other one over there um, because I am not a fan of the red dot being that high up off uh, the gun. But is it a make or break? Eh, if you don't mind that and you don't have the extra 30 bucks to spend, I'd say this is probably one of the better AK uh, quad rails that you can get. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If uh, you have one, go ahead and put it in the comments or a video response. Uh, they're always welcome. And until uh, next time, later.